Hello everybody and welcome back. Swifty's AI checking in with another video. This time we will be diving into the mid lane. We will be going over some concepts and tips to improve your overall gameplay. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. The first concept is an easy one to understand, but hard to master. Each mid laner needs to have balance in their playstyle. Most players fall into the extremes when it comes to reckless slash passive behavior. Tip number one. Stand behind your minions and implement the offense slash defense mentality when minions are pushing towards you. This means you're on defense. Your objective on defense is to last hit minions and retaliate slash retreat when minions are pushing away from you. This means you're on offense. Your objective is to trade damage often while utilizing minion aggro as a means to gain an advantage. It's a micro tip for offense. Look at your own minions health. When they're ready to be last hit, attack your enemy and score free damage. The enemy has a choice, either evenly trade you or be denied farm. Eventually, this method of timing damage with minions will lead to a health advantage. This strategy will free you up to be more aggressive. Second concept is stop floating. Floating simply means not actively accomplishing something. Most players have a problem with mental objectives. Tip number two helps with this. Time box your decisions. Most actions have an expiration date, whether they are death timers or minions pushing back to your tower. In all cases, you should be creating time to accomplish something and actively adhere to your schedule between tasks. Third concept is impose your will. The mid lane role is meant for proactive players. If you're not roaming the map and affecting multiple lanes while your champion is strong, you're wasting all of your character's potential value. Tip number three. Follow your opponent when he leaves lane. This tip symbolizes your need to proactively estimate when a fight will break out. Clean up kills help you stay even with your opponent and it gives your team an opportunity to flip the script. Micro tip, creating time to leave lane is beneficial and should be seen as required. There are hundreds of ways to create this time. Examples include creating a mana advantage through river buffs, slow pushing slash setting a lane, offense slash defense mentality, and killing ranged minions before following the enemy to lessen the impact of letting a full wave hit the tower if you won't roam to other lanes. If you want try to kill, or if you want rotate to combat a gank, you shouldn't be a mid laner. Last concept is look at the map and track the enemy. Most players die because they lack information before making decisions. Mid lane is the closest support position for most lanes, but in the inverse is the most accessible place for unsuspecting Lana. Get your eyes on the map so you can gauge whether you're safe. Tip number four, track the enemy jungler. You can do this in two ways, one by spotting him on the map with the help of minions or wards. Second, estimate a jungler's pathing by assessing your own jungler. Guess slash estimate his location before making a decision to fight or rotate. This is the hardest tip, but one of the most beneficial ones. Well, that's all we got for you today. If you haven't already, smash that like button and leave a comment on whether our content met your needs. As always, don't forget to be blessed, be safe, and until next time, Swifty's AI signing out.